right so welcome everyone welcome to our session of the day this is nelly deutsch and i'm on canva now i have a pro education account which gives me uh, many pro features for the paid accounts the uh, university or k-12 is a school account with a school email it's easy to get it it's nowadays mostly for k-12 but in the past it used to be for higher education as well so if you're interested feel free to do that what i can do is i can create what's called a class notice uh this is where the classes and shared have moved all right so they moved somewhere else um you know the uh layout changes all the time so get ready for that and it's a good thing because they're always trying to improve things um, we can go to settings and see where it's at manage your class all right so i've got two classes one is called professional development right here professional development and the other one is called integrating technology and then you can get some class details of what professional development is you can also uh, take a look at the people and you can invite more people you can invite unlimited number of people you can give them a role of a teacher or of a student still not sure if there's a huge difference here I think they have full rights to view whatever you share with them. So if you've got different things and you want to share, you can share with a group or you can share with individuals. Uh, when I say group, I don't have a group. They're called classes, but you can create a group too. Um, and then um, it's easier to share. But that's part of the sharing. Let me also take you to the LMS. You can also integrate the LTI or API. In this case, it's LTI to your learning management system for example canvas d2l blackboard schoology and moodle of course i've added this to moodle as well as to canvas you can enable the lti 1.1 or the lti 1.3 you can get copy the key and the shared secret you can also disable this i wouldn't disable it um, why disable something that can offer free features to your lms and here notice there's connecting to canva to your learning management system you just click and you go ahead and do that which is what i did and i'm really happy about that that means that everyone in my courses can join right well, let's go into um my classes there are other APPS um but i don't i haven't added any of them to my classes don't really use this as a class i use uh, lms's but you can actually use canva and create classes for yourself which i think is a wonderful feature let me go into my account so i can try to get into the other team now they call them teams first they're classes now at the very bottom on the left you'll see teams all right so these are the two teams, professional development, where I have uh, 21 members, and integrating technology, where I have two. Notice uh, the difference in color. The one, the blue is at the top. Now it's great there. Now what happens is when I create, let's go back into this one. Now in order to go back into it, you will need to go into uh, your class details. All right, so you can't really go into the teams and these are not clickable. You can only delete, which I don't want to do. But if I go into the class details, I'll be able to get the details of um, professional development. It's not that intuitive, but I'm sure they'll be making changes as they go. All right, the main thing is that you can only be in one at a time. So if I'm right now I'm in professional development, so I will stay there. You also have domains and uh, I don't have any domains. I don't need any. Get a teacher account with your school. I've got two accounts actually, and I added myself to this one as well. Get two accounts, one for your professional, whatever school you belong to, 
your professional email. Notice I have mine. And the other one you can use for whatever you want. You can also connect your uh, social networks. Isn't that great? And let's see what else is here. Let's create a design or you just go into your designs. Let me go into Canva and my designs, recent designs. You don't get all of them. Uh, you get the recent ones. And then you have notice now on the left under professional development, you will have classwork where you can add classwork, new activity for your students and approvals, all classwork approvals. So you can do lots of nice activities. You could also uh, add, notice under brand kit, you can add different uh, brand, their templates. You can also go to content planner and plan your content. Notice, <laughs> all right, uh, in this calendar, you can discover apps. As I said, there are a few apps that you might want to integrate with your Canva or vice versa, integrate your apps with Canva. It works both ways. Notice with Google Photos, Google Drive. Notice Apple Photos are not here. Um, Auto Enhance, I don't know if you're familiar with any of these, but also with a QR code. You can also embed them. Nice. I think there are a lot of nice things here. All right. Um, also, let's go into Invite. You can invite uh, others, invite people, okay, by copying, or invite by code, or by Google Classroom. What else can we do here? All right. Let's go into the other. Okay, right now uh, we're in this one, professional development. Let's go into the other one. This is the only place where you can go to the other one. All right, so play around with it until you get used to it. If you use it a lot, you'll know exactly where to go. But I usually use the top one. But if you want that one to be yours, notice uh, now it's the integrating technology one. And I've got things under this one, not as many. Okay, but it doesn't matter. It's the sharing that counts. So whatever you've created here, these are more personal, my own. Let's go back into that arrow pointing down into the professional development. Now, not everything that's here is shared. For example, let me see what's not shared. I think this one. This one is not shared. So it's my own. Notice you can also have a desktop. I'm going to leave that for now so when i go into the sharing notice um there's no plus here i haven't shared it with anyone but you can share it if you like with slack and other ways you can download it to your system or you can share it on social okay um, youtube should be here somewhere as well or um, for more notice uh, what's available here lms website and so on Okay, there's LinkedIn, messaging systems, design, more options, lots of amazing social networks where you can share your work. If you've got a video, you can share it with YouTube, but not the way it stands, not with images. Right, so let's go back home there at the top left. And this time we're going to go into something that I think I've shared. If not, I will share. And that is this one. Let me see if I've shared it. Let me not allow my desktop, even though it's great working on the desktop, especially if you're doing it offline. If I want to share, notice I, yeah, I did. I shared it only with professional development or, but you can opt for only you can access or anyone with the link. And then they're able to also edit. So with professional development, they could edit. Notice I've given them that permission. But I think in this case, it's done. So pretty much they can watch. If you want to share this on social, since it's a video, um, you've got TikTok if you want to share it there. But this is something personal. I wouldn't share it there. Let's see what else is available here. Under share on social and if you go under more you've got 
others. There's social, and you can have them all under one when you go to more. And notice it's not enabled for YouTube. All right, I just want to make sure. All right, and, um, and that's it as far as social goes. So again, it's up to you what you share and whom you share it with, even though you created it within your professional, well, your team, as they call them, or class. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And enjoy Canva as a teacher. It's absolutely amazing. And your students will love it.